Welcome to the Combat Athlete Physio YouTube channel where we take human movement science and we bring it to the combat sports. If you watched the main card of UFC 319 last night, you know that Jerikas Duplessis had absolutely no answer for Kamzat Shumaya's grappling. He spent quite a bit of time in this position that we call the crucifix, and today we're going to go over some of the underlying biomechanics behind why this position is so effective. Okay, so this position that we kind of refer to as the crucifix, just globally here, is just a position where you're maintaining control of the upper half of someone's body and you've got both arms trapped. Okay, this can happen if you're on the bottom, you can have somebody in this kind of arms out to the side crucifix position if you're on the bottom or if you're on the top. Here, comes out is on the top and DDP is unfortunately on the receiving end of this. Okay, so what we've got here, we're going to start with why this is such a good position of control, particularly in MMA. So we can see that DDP is trying to kind of bridge from side to side here. So he's planting his leg and he's extending his hips. Okay, so this would be a closed chain position, which means that the foot is planted on the ground and that the, the glutes, muscles like the glutes and the hamstrings are working together to try and create force and create space from himself and comes up. But Again, what makes this so uh, such a good position of control is that direction, the direction of that force vector, is essentially just wasting energy because his center of mass, comes out center of mass, is over DDP's chest. So this force goes nowhere and it doesn't really help create much space at all or any meaningful space since he's not able to get out. Okay, so let's shift our attention and start talking about you know how Kamzat is doing such a good job of maintaining this control. So his left arm, DDP's left arm is trapped because he's doing two things. He's got his other arm wrapped around and controlling the bottom side of the arm and on the top side of the arm he's doing a really good job of planting his head on the ground and creating a base there. And this is really demanding on muscles of the neck, particularly the anterior neck and those deep neck flexors. Again showing why it's really important to have a strong neck for combat sports, particularly MMA or grappling. So we've got that, he's got to trap that left hand with that position of the deep neck flexion, stabilizing that neck on the ground, and then his arm controlling the bottom side. And then if we switch to the other arm, DDP's other arm, we can see that as they spin around, this is a much better view, we can see that these thigh bones are being moved together in a, in a movement called hip adduction. Because so there are muscles on the inside of the thigh, like the adductor longus, the adductor magnus, we've got the pectineus, we've got several other uh, muscles that help and assist in adducting the hip. But you can see he's adducting the hip against one another and trapping, effectively trapping the top and bottom portion, or the superior and the inferior portion, if you want to get really biomechanically correct. And if you don't know what any of those terms mean, I actually have a full biomechanics course that is being trickled out through the month of August that takes you through all the foundational principles of understanding what the body is actually doing, having universal language that we can apply to situations like this. And another thing I want you to pay attention to is the position of his trunk. He's in a slightly flexed position. So muscles in the anterior portion of his trunk, that anterior chain, if you will, is really active here. You know, we've already talked about the anterior neck flexors, but muscles like the rectus abdominis that flex the trunk along with the along with help from the internal and external obliques are staying really engaged kind of isometrically and he's just kind of flowing with the movement that DDP is giving him to try to get out. So really good position of control because of where the center of mass is at and it's also it, it works insanely well even though he can't get a lot of leverage for striking it's a really good position for control. And as we let this play a little more I actually want to show you how DDP ended up getting out of this. So the way that he needed to create space or that he used to create space was again with trunk flexion and just in a little bit of a different way. So after getting pummeled in the head five or six times he's able to actually sit up using those big anterior trunk muscles again like that rectus abdominis internal external oblique and do something really sneaky here in order to get his hand out from in between Kamzat's legs. So if you pay attention to this thoracic spine, this is just the area of the spine that's below the cervical spine or the neck and above the low back or the lumbar spine. And this area is where we see a lot of muscles that help bring the shoulder blade towards the spine or bring your shoulder blades closer together in a movement called scapular retraction. So these muscles that you can see because DDP is really lean is the upper and the middle trap, specifically the middle fibers of the trap that are helping bring that shoulder blade in, scapular adduction if you want to be really biomechanically specific. And if you were to take those out, you would see the rhomboid major and minor as well assisting with that motion. He's also extending his shoulder to create a base or moving the humerus, that bone of the upper arm, behind him so that he can build a base. And muscles that do that are like the lat, the posterior delt, we've got the long head of the tricep, we've also got the teres major assisting in that movement. 
So he's able to squeeze that arm out. He's still in the bottom position, which is not great, and he's already cooked here. Kamza did a great job of cooking him in that position. He's just gotta carry his weight. Make no mistake, this was where DDP spent most of the fight. Say what you want to about grappling. Uh, most people don't like to watch grappling because they don't know what's going on. But whenever the fights like this happen, you can just see the amazing amount of control and domination that comes out displayed throughout this entire fight. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you like things like this. I'll see you guys next time.